Today we were talking about using models to add. Now, my third graders, they know how to add. They know how to add using the standard algorithm, and they know how to add using mental strategies. But today I wanted to make sure that they knew how, when they're adding, to use models such as base 10 blocks to show regrouping. Now, we're going to get to all of that step by step, but I want to show you that this base 10 block, this square, uh, is often a, a plate, an object that students can use. And this line right here that represents 10 is often a, a rod or a stick showing 10 units, and this is often a single cube. Uh, but when you're drawing a model, you can use a square to represent 100, a line to represent 10, and a dot to represent 1. So when you have numbers like 272 and 119, then you can show them by having 200 represented by two squares, seven tens represented by seven lines, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and two ones represented as one, two dots. Now when you're looking at 119, you would add 100 square, one 10 line, and nine single units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dots. Now, when we're talking about regrouping, we talk about taking 9 and 2, seeing that there are 10, 11 dots in all, and drawing a circle around 10 of them, thus making an extra 10. Now, over here, which is the way we all know how to add, and this is the way my third graders will be adding in fourth grade and fifth grade and forevermore. But I want them to be able to show me why this one, when you add two and nine and you get 11, why you write the one here representing that one single unit and why you carry the one up here representing the 10 ones that are now a 10 in the tens place. That's what I want my students to be able to understand. So that when they are adding this way, they have been shown, they have been taught, and they have learned why they're carrying the one. So when you add all of these up, you know that you have three one hundreds. You know that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, ninety. And you have one unit left over. 300 plus 90 and 1, hundreds plus tens plus ones is 391. Now again, I do not expect students to do this when they write checks. I don't want them to use models when they're solving uh, complicated math. I only want them to understand visually why you carry the 1. The standard algorithm, this is what students will be using forevermore. The model is to show how regrouping works. I don't want uh, students to be confused and think that I want them to always draw models to show adding. This takes a lot of time, it takes too much time, and it's unnecessary in any everyday application. But for this lesson, I want them to see why they carry the one by regrouping. And in some questions, you're going to have to regroup tens to make another hundred. And later, regrouping hundreds to make a thousand, which is carrying the one across place values. So that is what I've asked students to do.